Nicole. I'm a tea writer and educator and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. So today I have a bit of a product review or a demonstration. I've been seeing this tea maker all over my TikTok and I couldn't resist ordering it um, when I found it on Amazon. You'll see it referred to as a lazy kung fu brewer. Um, and basically what it is is a gaiwan that actually pours itself, which I thought was completely unnecessary, but also really cool. Um, so it consists of three parts. Um, you have the stand, um, a gongdao bay or a pitcher, um, and then you also have a gaiwan um, with a lid. Um, the main difference is that the bottom of the gaiwan has a metal strainer built into it. Um, then there's this chamber with a metal ball inside, and then there's a rubber stopper that your tea pours through. Um, I really liked this design in particular because it's entirely glass, um, including the base, where a lot of the other ones that I saw online were were plastic. Um, so I was really excited that you know it was entirely glass, which definitely is not going to negatively affect the taste of the tea. Um, I also thought that this one was much prettier than a lot of the other designs that I saw. Um, is the glass tubes and the handle of the Gongdao Bay are filled with these like yellow sprinkle crystals. I'll make sure to link the tea maker that I bought in the description below um, so that you can take a look if you'd like. Um, so I did already do a first infusion um, because there was a problem with my camera. It did not record the first time I tried to do this. Um, but in here I have um, like a kind of a Dragon Ball of Nightlife from White 2 Tea. Um, so you just put your tea inside and then add hot water. And then basically you just let it brew the same way you would in any other Gaiwan. Um, so I'm going to let it brew for about 30 seconds. Right. So there's a magnet in the handle of the Gongdao base. So when you're ready to pour your tea, you just line that up with the metal ball in the base and it pours itself. Um, it does make me a little bit nervous with the metal, like you can hear it hit the glass, but so far I haven't had any cracks or issues from that. Um, it just does take a little bit of a time to pour. Um, I would say it's not the fastest pour, so you might want to adjust accordingly for that while you're brewing. Um, the one issue I did find is that a lot of times this chamber doesn't empty completely. Um, it's not a huge deal because the tea itself is not in contact with the water that's left there. So it's not going to continue to extract or become bitter. Um, and I find if you just wait a few minutes and you line the magnet up with the ball again, it will start to drain completely. Um, so let me just try that now. There you go. So yeah, no, it went again. Um, so that one, so that time emptied completely. Like I said, this was completely unnecessary, but I do find that I really enjoy brewing tea in this, um, especially if I'm writing. I'm not necessarily in a mode of being able to pay a lot of close attention to the tea that I'm brewing. I'm just kind of drinking absentmindedly. So I really like just being able to pour the water in, slide the gung bao day over without even really having to stop what I'm doing. I can just reach over and slide that into place um, so that the tea stops brewing. Um, and the Gundale Bay is really nice. I do kind of, I do like the design of it with the handle on the back like that. It's a little showy, so this might be something that would be nice to have when you're serving guests, especially when you're introducing them to making tea. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this tea maker or if TikTok has led you to make any unnecessary purchases. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.